I used to go to the tide pools. We would explore around there and we would find like hermit crabs and snails. I was memorizing shark and stingray species when I was six and seven because I loved sharks. I've lived by the beach my whole life. Whale is not a And I just really love nature. The harbor porpoises left the bay for 65 years, and only in 2008 they came back. Not very far away. Right there! Oh. Ah. Do you guys see those seals? A lot of my life, I've been really interested in marine biology. That all started when I saw a baby sea otter when I went kayaking. Coral reefs are animal, vegetable, and mineral all at the same time. And you can see like all the little polyps. It's pretty crazy how you can get those ingredients of life to combine. If we didn't have our oceans, we wouldn't be able to breathe. People are throwing stuff in the ocean and they're calling it away, but it's not really going anywhere. I see all these dead corals as well, all these bleached white corals. I worry that some of these important animals, like sea otters, are gonna go extinct in my generation. That really worries me. We people in a society that have a lot of water, a lot of good food, a lot of good technology, we need to look at the people who aren't so fortunate, who are going to be affected by what's happening to oceans. I want to save the dolphins, and I want people to help me save the dolphins. How am I going to do that? We, as heirs to our oceans, want to raise awareness of the issues that face our oceans today and potentially provide solutions. But first, you have to know the problems before you tackle the solutions. Hello, this is Dr. Seattle on my way to a necropsy with Dr. Melissa Miller. She's like the top person of knee crossing and I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous because I have to do questions, but that's part of being on camera and stuff like that. We're on the way now in Santa Cruz and I'm stoked! Otters are really important keystone species. Today we're examining a dead otter. I hope we can figure out what killed it. It's an adult male. We're gonna roll him over and see if there's any other hints as to what's going on. Looking inside a sea otter is pretty mind-blowing and an awesome opportunity. Oh, you can see a little bit of blood. Oh my goodness, oh, wow. sure enough. My favorite part was when she showed me the shark bite. So now we start looking at it and we say, okay, we have a stab wound. That's it right there. And you can see there's oh lots of blood and some, yep. Melissa Miller is amazing. She's like, she's like my hero. I would never thought that I could ever do that in my life, like ever. <laughs> and so when I saw that sea otter, I was like, I need, I want to do this. I want to save sea otters and protect sea otters. So how many porpoises do you usually see here? Well, on an average day. I contacted Bill Keener of Golden Gate Cetacean Research. When I saw him, I realized that I'd gotten really lucky that I'd found him. I wanted to talk with him in person and get to know why he was doing this. So what is your message here? Well, I think the message is if you clean it, they will come. If you stop all the pollution coming in the bay, if you stop all the sewage coming into the bay, the bay can get more productive, there can be more fish life, and that's going to attract animals like the porpoises back. Ghost fishing is when someone dumps a bunch of gear, like a gill net or a crab pot. 
sea animals get stuck and then it kills the animal or just really disfigures them. And so Justin Vizbicki, he works on disentangling these whales. Throw the hook in, get the buoy over the side. It's really difficult, so there's not many responders who can actually help these whales. And whales are a key part of our ecosystem because they supply so many nutrients into the ocean. Oh, he got it, he got it. I went to a talk in Pacifica where there was a homeschooling mom who was talking about plastic and how she visited the Pacific garbage patch and how much trash she saw. Ew. Then I realized that I need to clean all of this up. We are heirs to our oceans and this is our disgusting all you can eat buffet. <laughs> you have to pay $50 not to eat it. <laughs> we have three slices of pepperoni pizza. Cheese, cabbage, <laughs> corn on the cob, some lime halves and lemon halves, a mango, <laughs> pit pit, pit no. beer, <laughs> and, and potato chips. chips. We are serving on some tires, a grill, a board, a broken chair, a and a broken table behind us, plus 500 pieces of board. We just rolled a 45 pound tire uphill from a beach for a quarter of a mile. That's pretty exhausting. After I did the beach cleanup, we brought some of the recycled plastics to Captain Jim Holm and he has this machine that turns plastic into fuel. There's some goodies right there. Yeah, just put it in on the top there. He said that this is a really good renewable energy source. Wow, so it's starting to happen already, huh? You see the bubbles forming. He put it in his machine and we got to see it work and turn into fuel, basically. The more we learn, the more we understand what we have to do. There's information out there that we can use to help the ocean. There are solutions. Somehow, we have to keep this moving forward. You'll be well rehearsed. You'll know your presentation. We're going to make this movie. And we're going to use it to start up Heirs to Our Oceans clubs and schools all over the world. So, we have to raise money. And to do that, we need to be articulate. It's terrible. We have to be examples. We have to go to protests. Very cool. They are often drugged. Never if we want to change things, we have to change. Step forward, step forward to so your toes. Take a breath and just leap in. But we'll have to do something new, something super creative to get the word out. Like when we saw the plastic monster at the Marine Mammal Center. The one made out of ocean garbage. So Dakota, this is gonna be you. We thought, let's make a spoof of Ghostbusters, but call it Plastic Busters. Let's go. Right, let's go. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, you go ahead. Oh, thanks. They rolled up to my house. They knocking at my door. They coming. Oh, cut, 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 cut. All right, let's pick the pieces up. Let's try one more time. Back to first. Oh, uh, yeah. Get rigged one more time. So this might be a bit harder than we thought it would be. But it'll look weird on screen. A group of young environmental science students was invited to learn more about the project. I think it's really important that kids can go out there and say like what they're passionate about. All over the world. We're saving our oceans through a movement and a movie. Action. If every school from San Francisco to San Jose had an Airs to Our Oceans club in school, 
we'd probably have this message out pretty fast. So we really need kids all over the nation to help with this project. The kids who are doing this are going to send a message out to society. That they should not be taken captive. That wow, these kids are actually getting outside of their comfort zone. Hello. And they're telling us something that's really important. The best way for people to learn about orcas is not through seeing them in tanks. Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm going to be talking about how we are going to connect with an island nation, Palau. We want to collaborate with the children there. We can learn from them how human impact from the industrialized world affects them and their livelihood. I'm hoping to learn that I can make people change without having to make them scared and by making them really want to change. I need to find a way to make people want to learn, want to drive change. Why can't we take the effort to clean it up? We can all be a team and work together. Even people like us, we're kids, we're like 10, 9, 8. We could still make a change. As kids, we're gonna need to clean it up, so we need to spread that message so we aren't the only ones. The time is now. It's going to be difficult. But I think that if we try hard, we can spread the message, get enough help, and I think that the ocean can be saved.